Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Adisasa tutorial on the land search application for both listed and unlisted properties. Listed properties are properties that have been added and verified into the Adisasa platform by the proprietor through the add property process. On the other hand, unlisted properties are properties that are yet to be added by the respective proprietors into the platform. For more information on how to add property on Adisasa, check out our YouTube tutorial on the same through the link featured in the video description. This is an application made to find out the ownership details of a property and other interests that have been registered on that property. To begin with, you log into the platform. Enter your AdSasa user credentials, that is the identification number or the AdSasa ID, and the password you used when creating your account. Key in your AdSasa ID, enter your password, and then click Continue. When you do so, you'll be provided with a one-time password code an OTP, which will be sent to the phone number you used to register with on the platform. Once you have received the OTP, type the code onto the OTP prompt box and then click Log In. You will then be navigated to the dashboard. The process we are undertaking is under land registration, so navigate to the land registration section and click on the application listed under the services offered in this department. Upon doing so, you will be navigated to the applications page, and here, there are three distinct tabs provided, namely Ongoing, Completed, and Involved. The Ongoing tab is for such applications that you have initiated and submitted, but it's up to the property owner or the ministry officials to verify the same. The Completed tab features such applications which have been completed entirely, with the search certificates for successfully approved searches available for viewing and download. In case an application is not approved, Upon clicking on view, you'll be able to see the reasons why. The involved tab features such applications which your property or properties, if any, has been involved in. For you to initiate this application, you'll click on the new application tab on the top right hand corner. You'll then be navigated to a page with the FAQs, which is the frequently asked questions related to this process. You can go ahead and explore the FAQs to get some of the terminologies used. When you're satisfied with the FAQs, you can proceed and click Next. The next section is on search details, where you'll first be required to enter the parcel number of the property in question. So kindly key it in the format registry slash block and then the block number with no space in between slash the parcel number. It is key to note that the party or parties that will verify the search application will be determined by whether or not the property in question has been listed on the platform. If the latter is true, the property owner is the party that will be required to verify the application through the OTP code verification upon submission of the application. However, if the property in question has not been listed on the platform, the application will be forwarded to the Ministry for Verification and Approval. It is also worth noting that only upgraded professionals will be able to search unlisted properties. In this scenario, we will be searching for both an unlisted and listed properties. You then enter the purpose of the search. You then select the scope of the search. It could either be the particulars of the subsisting or active entries in the register of the mentioned parcel or the particulars noted on the property section, proprietorship section, encumbrance section, power of attorney register, or the registered documents register. In this scenario, we'll select the first option. If you are satisfied with what you've provided, you can click on Next, and you'll be navigated to the documents page. Kindly note that if the property you are initiating a search for has not been listed on the platform, you will be required to upload a copy of either the certificate of lease or certificate of title of the property in question. In our case, you will upload the certificate of lease for the unlisted property. So go ahead and click on choose file and you will be navigated to your local machine or device whereby you will upload the documents that you have prepared and the document will be listed again as the choose file button. If you have additional documents, you have the option of providing said documents. If you are satisfied with what you've provided, you can proceed and click on Next. The last step is the confirmation step with all the details that you have provided. So scroll through the entire page and go through them. If satisfied, you can click on Submit. You also have the option of going back if you need to edit any information. For this case, we'll proceed and click on Submit. Upon doing so, you'll be prompted to approve on whether you indeed want to submit the request and then proceed and click yes. You'll then get a confirmation message on a pop-up box 
and then click on close. For the property that has been listed, the property owner will get a notification and they will verify it through an OTP code. They will click on the get OTP button. An OTP code will be sent to the phone number and email address provided during registration. They'll type in the exact code onto the box provided and click on the verify button. Upon verification, the applicant will get a notification affirming the approval of the search and he or she can navigate to the specific application on the account and they will have the option of viewing and downloading the search certificate detailing the particulars of the search. For the property that has not been listed, the application will be forwarded directly to the land registration department whereby the details and documents provided when applying will be checked and verified. Upon approval of the same, a notification will be sent to the applicant affirming the approval of the search and he or she can navigate to the specific application on the account and they will have the option of viewing and downloading the search certificate detailing the particulars of the search. In the event that the land registrar has rejected your application, for instance if you uploaded the wrong copy of title, only the view option will be active and upon clicking on it, you'll be able to see the reasons for rejection. That's it for this tutorial on the search application on Adisasa. Feel free to give feedback on this tutorial in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button alongside the subscribe button to get notifications on new videos as and when we post them. Thanks for watching and goodbye.